<clears throat> I wanted to thank uh, the esteemed city council and Mayor Hernandez for once again recognizing the Muslim community of Dublin as an integral and welcome part of our larger Dublin community. This is the sixth year of the Muslim Awareness Month and uh, the recognition of the statewide uh, proclamation resolution, Assembly Res Resolution 58, which was to proclaim August as Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month by Assemblyman Bill Quirk. And we always appreciate being invited by the city of Dublin. As a Muslim community, we often feel misunderstood and perceived as foreign and mysterious. So recognizing Muslims during this month recognizes that we're not someone else, but rather we're your neighbors and friends, your doctors, your local small business owner, your school teachers, and more. I wanted to thank a number of people from the Dublin Muslim community for being inspirations for how to carry out the fundamental call to service that's integral to our faith. Those who are best to creation, those who are most compassionate with creation, are the ones who attain the ultimate compassion, mercy, and closeness to the creator. These people are inspirations to me in my own efforts in community building, organizing, and public service. <clears throat> I wanted to highlight these efforts, especially during this difficult year where we've all gone through the pandemic, because we've all felt a bit of despair at times. And it's these stories of human spirit rising above the challenges that we all need to sustain us. From the Muslim Public Affairs Council on the COVID Community Task Force for the Biden Administration, to the Council of American Islamic Relations Continuous Advocacy for Civil Rights and Inclusion, Muslims and Muslim-run community organizations strive constantly for the greater good. We are residents like Minara al Rahman, who works for an organization, Zakat Foundation, that coordinates food distribution in Alameda County and runs fundraisers in partnership with DoorDash, where portions of funds were distributed to those most in need in Hayward. Our organizations are like Support Life Foundation, who work tirelessly not only to serve Muslims, but all members of our community. We help coordinated 10,000 vaccines for Alameda County and distributed 1.3 million pounds of food in Alameda County alone since the beginning of the pandemic. From the Muslim Community Center that many Muslims from Dublin attend, I'd like to thank Brother Munir Safi and Sabine Asafali, who have constant who have a constant open door policy. Whether you're coming there for the first time or a regular attendee, they always make an effort to make people feel welcome. And it was through these efforts that they were designated as a disability friendly facility this last year. And Sister Amina Abdullah, who selflessly runs the food pantry that's partnered with the Alameda County Food Bank, where weekly thousands of pounds of food is given out to hundreds of families of all faiths throughout the Tri-Valley on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and every other Saturday, in case you need to go and get some help. I also wanted to thank Sobia Qureshi for not only her service as a board member of the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center, where every year they raise funds and food and toys for those less fortunate, but her, for her dedication to students at Kolb, Amador, Fallon, and more, where she served in distinction on school site councils and parent faculty clubs for years. And her service doesn't end there. She's worked on many DUSD community oversight community committees, raised funds for all schools through DPI, and I'm lucky to count her as a friend and mentor. Like her, there are many others out there, Shazia Nomani, Shaheen Parker, Nida Ahmed, and more, who have worked for year after year to make students their primary and central concern by serving on PFSO at Dublin High or PFCs across Dublin, or given of their time during the summer to volunteer at the Dublin Rotary and DPI fireworks booth to raise money for school band. Participating and being included in these efforts make us feel welcomed and included as essential parts of our community. One of my friends, Dr. Asad Tarsin, is a resident of Dublin, and he inspires all of us when he speaks at events and gatherings about building understanding about Islam and Muslims. But it was his work as an emergency room doctor during this last year and during COVID that really inspired me. And he's just one of many Muslim doctors and nurses serving as frontline workers in our community. I would also like to thank Gashif Qadri and Samir Qureshi and others who served on various city commissions for the city of Dublin. It's your passion for volunteering and service that inspires me and shows us our faith in action. Lastly, and far from least, I want to thank Aliza and Maham Shahab. Their involvement in the Dublin Inclusion Project and in last year's summer protest against abuses of power by police, as evidenced by the murder of George Floyd, inspired me to show up, stand up, and protest, speak out, and get involved. 
Aliza also wrote a letter to the staff of DUSD explaining for herself and for all students in Dublin who fast during the month of Ramadan what the realities of fasting are like. She requested understanding and inclusion for herself and for all students in Dublin who are going to be fasting. Her letter made me proud to be the mom of Muslim students in Dublin and made me feel emboldened to step up and speak out for my own children and all children in Dublin to feel included, seen, and understood by their teachers and fellow students. Thank you, as always, City Council and fellow Dublin City community members for welcoming us today and to celebrate American Muslims and always making us feel welcome in the city of Dublin. Thank you very much. Come on, I just want to want to express our feelings that Everyone is always welcome in our city of Dublin in our new American backyard. And I, and I say that with honesty and full forwardness because we truly believe it, I think, here at the city council. Um, thank you for sharing everything that you guys have done during COVID because I think it's so important that, you know, that it's been everybody's hard work coming together to be able to try to get through this pandemic and to try to feed so many um, Alameda County residents and not only just in Alameda County, but, you know, all within the cities that are in Alameda County. So I appreciate you. I know that um, Vice Mayor Kumagai just wanted to express um, a few words. Mon, thank you for the uh, very well-spoken um, description. You know, I wanted to read a line from, from the proclamation itself where it says, it's appropriate to promote awareness of the many contributions of American Muslims in Dublin and across the nation and extend to them the respect every American deserves. And I think that's really uh, key to what this is about. You know, I think that, as you said, um, I, the Muslim community is often uh, misunderstood and uh, the subject of a lot of uh, discrimination and prejudice. And I think this is an important uh, step for us as a community to promote awareness. And as you described, uh, our Muslim neighbors are an integral part of our community. They're volunteering on boards and commissions. And, and I'm hopeful in the very near future we'll have a Muslim American sitting here at this dais. Um, it's, it's so important that you have a voice and representation here in our city. And um, I really just appreciate everything that you and, and the entire Muslim community do for our, for our beautiful town. Thank you. It's really with the partnership of uh, the city council and with the community at large, it's always made us feel so welcome. So we really appreciate it and appreciate all of your efforts on our behalf as well. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to ask you and some of the community members to please step forward to accept our proclamation. <laughs> they know how to. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry will, will adjust us yeah, accordingly. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Uh, we also have a proclamation for uh, declaring August 21st uh, or August 2021 as American Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. Yes, in August, the council signed a proclamation declaring August 2021 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month, and now we have the privilege of presenting it. After I read the proclamation, Munir Safi and the Muslim community of the East Bay and Spojme Nasiri with the Council on American Islamic Relations for the San Francisco Bay Area, Bay Area will accept the proclamation and share some comments. So whereas enriched by the diversity of its residents, the city of Pleasanton takes pride in supporting individual religi religious freedoms for all and is strengthened by the contributions made 
by the many diverse religious and cultural traditions of its residents, including those who practice Islam. And whereas Alameda County is home to over 90,000 Muslims who make innumerable contributions to the cultural, political, and economic fabric and well being of our city, county, state, and nation. And whereas with the COVID 19 outbreak, forcing the temporary closure of Muslim nonprofits, community centers, mosques, and other establishments, local mosques and Muslim community organizations provided online programming and outdoor services. And whereas mosques and local Muslim organizations, such as the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay and the Islamic Center of Zara, stepped in to help the entire community during the pandemic by donating funds, distributing food, and sewing masks for frontline workers, as well as educating their congregations about social distancing guidelines to keep the community safe. And whereas, though the Islamic practice of zakat, local Muslim organizations help give back to the community by providing grocery deliveries and financial assistance to local families, organizing quarterly blood drives, food drives, and backpack drives for school children, as well as many other charitable activities serving individuals and families throughout the community, and now, therefore it be resolved, the Pleasant and City Council does hereby proclaim August 2021 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month to acknowledge the rich history and contributions of American Muslims in our community and may it have a lasting positive impact for our city, state, and nation. At this time, I would like to introduce Munir and Sposhme with the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay to say a few words. Good evening. Uh, this is Munir Safi. Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. Thank you so much for honoring our state's uh, de designation of August being Muslim Appreciation and, and Awareness Month. This is the sixth year this designation has happened in California, and the hundreds of Muslim families in Pleasanton and the nearly 15,000 Muslims in the Tri Valley, we truly appreciate the Pleasant City Council uh, presenting this proclamation this evening. Uh, so I'm representing Pleasanton's Muslim Community Center, the MCC. The MCC is a vibrant uh, regional mosque uh, and a community center. We've been on West Las Casillas Boulevard for the past 11 years. And I'm joined today by colleagues and congregation from the Islamic Center of Zahra, also in Pleasanton, who are watching along. So uh, American Muslims, we've lived and contributed to our community since our country's founding. And in the last decade and a half, the impact of Islamophobia has been real. But despite the uncertainties, uh, we continue our blood drives, our voting drives, uh, highway cleanups, uh, our thrice weekly uh, food distribution. Uh, we have an open door policy at our Friday services. Uh, we serve as a Red Cross disaster site, uh, host ESL classes with the city of Pleasanton, uh, interfaith events, open houses. We're also a green mosque and a special needs friendly mosque. Um, so as you can hear, we're, we're just part and parcel of our community. And I can tell you that this, this recognition makes a world of difference uh, for your Pleasanton constituents who are Muslim. So again, on behalf of Pleasanton and uh, Tri-Valley residents who are Muslim, we thank you for this proclamation and this recognition. Thank you. All right, thank you for all you do. Uh, that's a long list. And I have seen the food distribution line and it's been considerable. So thank you. Councilmember Arkin, is there anything else? Uh, Spojme, is she? Um, she's joining right now. Okay. That'd be terrific. Good evening, uh, uh, Mayor Brown and Vice Mayor Julie Testa and esteemed council members. My name is Spojme Nasiri. I am um, an immigration attorney in Pleasanton over by Stone Ridge Mall. I'm also an Afghan American and a Muslim American who has lived in Pleasanton for the last uh, almost 12 years. Uh, my children went through school and went through Foothill and they took a lot of pride in the, the rescue mission that was going on for Philip and um, grateful for the community support. Um, what I wanted to touch on was say first and foremost, as Munir mentioned, the state of California has designated August as Muslim appreciation for the last six years. And uh, we're grateful for the city of Pleasanton issuing this proclamation. Um, there are thousands of um, Muslim Americans in the Tri-Valley by the numbers of 15,000, and there are hundreds of um, Muslim Americans and Afghan Americans living right here in the heart of Pleasanton. Um, again, MCC has been in the forefront of, of being progressive and in providing the services that our community needs. 
What I wanted to touch on was also as an Afghan American, we are seeing the devastation and the catastrophe happening, uh, regardless of our political views. Um, I keep it as a humanitarian uh, perspective in terms of the evacuees and the humanitarian crisis. Um, I have been on the forefront along with many of my uh, colleagues, immigration attorneys, working day and night to, to provide these services and legal services for evacuating Afghan Americans, lawful permanent residents, and those who are in need of uh, being evacuated. One of the things I wanted to mention is, along with myself and in many other community members, uh, not only are we seeing what's on the forefront of the situation in Afghanistan, but we're living a day and night. For myself, you know, for the last two weeks, day and night, I've been up trying to evacuate um, Afghans out of Afghanistan, those allies who have served uh, and supported our government. One of the things I just wanted to touch on again, to say sincere gratitude for the proclamation this evening, but also that although these um, refugees uh, right now seem to be far away, they are going to be uh, coming into our communities in the coming months uh, in the Alameda County and maybe Sacramento area. The MCC has been in the forefront of supporting these refugees in many ways. They're working in conjunction with International Rescue Committee, as well as the Jewish Community Center in Walnut Creek, which are the resettlement agencies. So I'm proud to be a resident of Pleasanton, to be a parishioner of the MCC, and to know that our community as a whole is contributing in a meaningful way that is making not only our community a better place, but the world as a whole. So I thank you again for your time in allowing um, us this opportunity and for uh, making this proclamation in six years in a row. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Munir and Sposhmi. Proclamation recognizing the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center and the San Ramon American Muslim community for its efforts to provide COVID-19 relief assistance and declaring its appreciation for the contribution of American Muslims to the San Ramon community. And I will be presenting this to, I see Ahmad, uh, is it Abu Shi? We're, let's bring him in. And I believe we have uh, Nadia and Shahab. Oh, they put you side by side. Okay. After I read the proclamation, then we'll ask if you have some comments and are you gonna put it up for me, Christina? Yes. Oh, there we are. Gosh, this technology stuff is great. Now, how do I get rid of this screen over here so that I could? There we go. I have a proclamation of the City Council of the City of San Ramon recognizing the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center and the San Ramon American Muslim community for its efforts to provide COVID-19 relief assistance and declaring its appreciation for the contributions of American Muslims to the San Ramon community. Whereas San Ramon is home to the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center, which is dedicated to serving the spiritual needs of San Ramon's Muslim community and promoting interfaith cooperation by providing an environment for dialogue, education, and fellowship. And whereas the SRBIC has provided many volunteer services to the San Ramon community, included but not limited to the following, providing community assistance during the COVID-19 pandemic, partnering with the International Rescue Committee to support newly arriving refugees to the Bay Area and help with apartment setups for families. And you're going to, there we go. Uh, and <laughs> you got to stop moving it. Okay. And uh, providing community assistance during the COVID-19 pandemic partnering with the International Rescue Committee to support newly arriving refugees to the Bay Area and help with apartment set up for families, packing and distributing 100,000 pounds of food staples and masks to at-risk communities in the Bay Area through their You Are Not Alone program in partnership with Support Life Foundations and 47 other Bay Area mosques and organizations, sponsoring SRBIC blood drives with the American Red Cross, being one of the largest donors to the Contra Costa Food Bank, donating 25 to 30,000 every year, in addition to the estimated 150,000 in donations to community members in need. And whereas 
Enriched by the unparalleled diversity of its residents, the city of San Ramon takes great pride in supporting individual religious freedoms and is strengthened by the many varied religious, political, and cultural traditions and contributions of its diverse population, including those Americans who practice Islam. And whereas Muslims have been part of U.S. history from the beginning and have contributed to the production of wealth and construction of the nation, they are also part of the rich history of the civil rights movement. And whereas almost 10,000 Muslims reside in Contra Costa County and make innumerable contributions to the cultural, political, and economic fabric and well being of the California and United States. And whereas American Muslims are teachers, lawyers, doctors, social workers, tech workers, nurses, and business owners, among numerous other valued professions, as well as peace builders, activists, entrepreneurs, and politicians. And whereas the California State Assembly has recognized the month of August 2021 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month. And, wow, we got a big one here. And whereas it is appropriate to acknowledge and promote awareness of the myriad of invaluable contributions of American Muslims in California and across the country, and extend to them the respect and camaraderie every American deserves. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City Council of the City of San Ramon does hereby proclaim its appreciation for the efforts of the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center and the Muslim community to provide assistance to those in need during the COVID-19 pandemic, the many additional contributions that SRBIC has made to the San Ramon community, the rich history, contributions, and guiding virtues of American Muslims, and to commend all Muslim communities for the lasting positive impact they have made toward the advancements of our city and country. It is September 14th, 2021. Signed by the worst signature I have seen. I cannot, I've got to work on this signature. Let's bring it back to the full screen. I want to hear from uh, Nadia Ann. Let's hear from you first and then finish with Ahmad, if we may. Thank we'll you, do. Mayor. Ladies thank first. You. Thank you, Mayor. In the name of Allah, most, grief, most beneficent and most merciful. Good evening, Mayor Hudson, council members, and everyone. Thank you for the honor of the American Muslim of San Ramon with the proclamation of American Muslim Month. The San Ramon Islamic Center was set up more than 25 years ago and has been an active part of the local community. At our center, we have witnessed a generation of American Muslim grew up here locally. They went to school here, they work here, and now they have come here, returned here to, as parents, grow, bringing up their children in this area. In this past challenging year, SRVIC has partnered with Support Life Foundations and others to distribute food to those who are being challenged in this trying times. We have also continued with our blood drive and donated to the food bank. In the last month alone, the Ceremon Valley Islamic Center took the lead and rallied more than $20,000 of resources to help the displaced Afghan persons from Afghanistan. So some of these youth that have grown, grown up here have became entrepreneurs setting up their businesses in the city, contributing to the vibrant business ecosystem of our area. The Muslim doctors, nurses, other healthcare professionals, and essential workers such as teachers have, are doing their part to continue their fight, continue our fight against the COVID-19 pandemic that is in its second year. We have got American Muslim participating in politics in San Ramon and in the Tri-Valley too. So once again, we thank you for the honor and together we can make San Ramon the best home for all of us. We wish you a good evening. Thank, thank you, Nadia. And we thank you. Can you move? Is that your, uh, what is behind you? Is that uh, San Ramon? <laughs> uh, kind of cool. Thank you. Okay, Ahmad, can you add some comments to that? You can't beat the background. No, no, <laughs> can't beat it. So, no, I'll just keep it short. I really appreciate you, Mayor Hudson and uh, City Council members, for this acknowledgement. It's uh, it's an honor to us. Has been 
for the last couple of years and continues to be a great honor to be part of this community. Uh, just a reminder that our mission at the center is to create or develop members who will create positive influence on the community and at large. So that's what you, know, what you read, the details are kind of the result of what we instill in our members to be good, positive members. And uh, the city of San Ramon has been excellent to be a part of. It uh, supports uh, diversification. So we're really glad to be a part of it and uh, looking forward to working more with the city council and uh, Mayor Hudson. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, council members, let's start uh, with the vice mayor. Any comments? Oh, you're on mute, but they were good comments. And he's still going. You're still on mute. Oh, Sabina, bail him out. Help him out a little bit. We'll go to you. There he is. Now you're good. Yeah, okay. I want to thank them so much for all the extra effort and help they put in throughout the year during this COVID-19. I've seen them do their, their food drives and filling up in the parking lot and the barrels. And I want to thank them so much for all the additional help they provided our community. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you. Sabina? Same here. I just wanted to add to it. I, you know, thank you, Nadia and Imad, for everything that you're doing as leaders in the community as well, and especially with the food drives. Um, I know there was a huge need at the peak of the pandemic, and there were some seniors who were really hurting. And so um, appreciate everything you do and uh, do call on, upon us if any of us can be there to join you at any of the food drives or the blood drives. We'd be um, happy to partner with you as well. So thank you. Thank you. Sridhar? I want to thank uh, San Ramon Valley Islamic Center and uh, San Ramon American Muslim Community for your 25 years of service to the community, uh, especially during this uh, pandemic, you know, uh, you stepping up and helping the community when the community need the most. Uh, organizations like yours definitely make special about San Ramon and what we are. Uh, once again, uh, I would like to uh, extend my uh, support if you need anything from my side, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I can be whatever the way I can helpful. So thank you very much for your services. Thank, thank you. you. Councilmember Armstrong. I'd also like to extend my thanks uh, to Mr. Abushi and Ms. Shahab uh, and the SRBIC uh, for uh, all that you did, all that uh, the local community did during the recent pandemic and, and the recent events. Uh, there's so many good community groups uh, in San Ramon and the local area, and, and plus our individual community members that do so much for others. I think it just helps to re restore our faith and 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 uh, reinforce that there's goodness in the in the people in our community helping others, uh, especially during times of need. So thank you again for all that you've done. No, thank thank you. you. I think that sums it up pretty much every the way everybody feels. Though when you said blood, I. I'm still a little squeamish about needles. I'll give the food. We'll let them give the blood. Um, any last words from you before we move on? There's no action taken tonight. We could sit here and thank you all night. I'm looking at these numbers and it's quite impressive. Up, oh, seeing nothing more. I like that sign in the background. Okay, there's no further action being taken on this. Once again, thank you from a grateful community. Thank you. Up next is a, a, a couple of proclamations. The first is to the um, Islamic Center of Livermore and want to um, recognize that they're here. The Islamic Center of Livermore is here. And this is September 27, 21. The, um, read part of the uh, proclamation. Uh, Whereas the city of Livermore is home to people of different national origins, immigration or refugee status, cultures, histories, races, and ethnicities, religious affiliations or none, gender identities, sexual orientations, ages, education, economic status, and physical, mental, or emotional abilities. And whereas the city council believes that a city can be best stand, can best stand against bigotry and tolerance and hate through leading by example and living our shared community values of welcome, inclusion, and respect. And whereas Muslims have contributed to the rich history of the civil rights movement, and the social, cultural, and economic vibrancy of our country. Whereas in August 2016, the California State Assembly passed a resolution 
recognizing August as Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month, to acknowledge and promote awareness of the myriad and valuable contributions of Muslim Americans in California and across the country. And whereas the Islamic Center of Livermore helps fulfill the spiritual and cultural needs of Livermore residents and promotes intercultural cooperation by providing an environment for dialogue, education, and fellowship, the Islamic Center has answered the call for help during the COVID-19 by no donating funds, distributing food, sewing masks, serving on the front lines as healthcare and service workers, and educating their congregations about social distancing guidelines and practices to keep the community safe. Now, therefore, the City Council of the City of Livermore recognizes the contributions of the Islamic Center of Livermore and the lasting positive impact they have made in our community. So thank you.